So I'm dating. I'm in a relationship and this hasn't come out. That life wasn't a breakup. That life was a fight. How can you be with someone for two years and mm. randomly meet someone on the show and just be like, bro, this is your fault. Like, we love you, but this is your fault. You shouldn't have done this. She actually loves you. Then, oh, you know, this has happened with Kat and someone. She knows. Because Kat made everyone pick sides. Found her. <laughs> <laughs> That's my idea. He's just very like alpha dominant like i am the boss i am this I am. this was off camera okay like even the production was sure we fight on and off because of nikki because i was wrong i told them so many times i'm sorry oh cat took avantik out trevon wouldn't be as hurt as gary he had this hit for a long no. gary lost i'm just saying because yes. of anushka yeah because of anushka the entire pune after three girls anushka wasn't famous when i did her Arushi wasn't famous one. Everyone thinks, oh, I have written the script. Yeah, I have won this. I have also won this. I did it better than you. I did it. It's like two kids fighting. I'm sorry. I'm sure they're going to feel bad after. Okay, first, Sapna was the one that tried to vote me out. Moose in front of the camera. Mm. Yeah, yeah, fuck you, this, that. Mm. You, you're wrong. You're the bad guy. You're the villain. Behind the camera. You know, I love it. The production will always save who they want. Uh. Prince slapped someone and he won the show. I defended myself and I got kicked. So fuck you, Splitz. Mm-hmm. The first time I saw Basi was with Anushka when mm-hmm. she brought him to like kind of like piss. Splits will out though. I was like, I will win. Fuck. I think I fucked up. Was the one that called me disloyal, but I didn't date anyone. So she didn't respect the fact that this is not work for me. I, that was always cameras. Mm-hmm. Always. And I kind of felt weird. That's because I really, really had strong feelings for her. Red flags that I saw. Let's say her story. Sub- she was dating someone when she came on the show. How did I know Basi? <laughs> for Cat, longest. Longest, like, whew. Rudy, all the girls didn't like Kat from day one. They yeah. came up to me and I was like, who do we not like? So fucked up that he did that to Nikki. The same people that put you there, whoo, they, they got a brother. Tane would have never been on Temptation. Don't bite the hand that feeds you. But you're right, people actually start calling me Anushka's boyfriend. The fact that Tane got a lot of sympathy, it was a good game for him. Yeah. How are you such a slut? He knows, he knows. Couples <laughs> can also do now. Nah. I am dating. Oh, three years of our relationship, so cute. When you forget, someone like me is gonna be there to expose you. Okay, nah, famous I am. He knows me. Just took a selfie with me. You know who? You know who I am. Don't tell him I'm going. Like, how is me kicking him out of Splitsvilla and him getting selected? It's not like I'm selecting him for. Ten, my man. Bob, Bob, what the? Nikki was Rotation <laughs> Island. Gary, Splitsvilla Road is my girlfriend. Bye. It's not content to me. After this video, how could you say this? How could you say that? Could you say that? Hi guys, what is up? This is a girl pop, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I have girl pop. Chop! <laughs> <laughs> this is your girl pop. Oh. They call me pop. Like my pet oh, name Bob. is pop. Oh, yeah. I heard girl pop. I'm like pop. Yeah, you of had kids. to do this, right? I just want you to know. You had to get the attention. Yeah. This is not Kev show, babe. This sorry, is sorry, not Kev show. show. This not is love. Show. We spread love, happiness, rainbows, and sprinkles. Love, happiness, and all of that. Mm. Yeah, you cover mm. the wrong mm. podcast, baby. <laughs> <laughs> so, Kevin, you don't know this, but a lot of people know that in how many videos I've said that Kevin is my personal favorite, and I'm, I've manifested this. <laughs> I wanted to do this Thank podcast you. with you, and uh, I really want to say that to your face that the impact you're making on young boys and girls, and like it's crazy, bro. Like a lot of people look up to you, and they want to be like you. What part of me? I have different sides. Badass. Oh, like that. Hmm. What is the? Wha- are you fun. are you badass in real life? Ah, yeah, sort of, kind of, sure. What is sort of? I don't know. What, you, what is badass? What do you? Badass, badass? somebody who I am. Who I am? Yeah, like, that TV, is what badass. Here, is. There, everywhere, I am this guy only. So today, yeah, we are in for a game. Are you gonna tell us some secrets today? Secrets. If I start with people's secrets, then um, people are dead. Something like that. <laughs> Something like yeah, that. Yeah, but not, 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 not exactly. I just don't wanna like. Bring their secrets out. Okay. Know? Unless I don't like them. Okay. Then I don't care. But you know that's what changed about me. First, I used to not care at all. No, you can't. And care. I was very open about saying whatever was coming in my head. Ah, oh, who's this guy talking shit about me? I will listen him. Do that. Who's this girl? But now it's. I think I've grown up. How do you think that happened? How did it happen? Yeah. What mm, made it change? I guess. I don't know. 
Good question. I don't know. I guess it's just life. Like what life brings in front of you, you just deal with it. And if you feel like you've made a mistake, then you'll learn from it. If you feel like you've done the right thing, then you'll keep on doing it. So you think you made mistakes? Oh yeah, everyone makes mistakes. You don't make mistakes? I do. Everyone makes mistakes, yeah. <laughs> so Nobody's Kevin, perfect. Kevin, you started your journey in roadies. Yeah, yeah my journey started. Coming way back to that. that, when you came to the audition, mm -hmm. um, that time people said this this guy is Anushka Mitra's boyfriend, mm -hmm. who's coming here, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And then you made your own identity. Now the girls are called like, oh, this is Kevin's girlfriend. <laughs> How does it feel? Mm. So. Yeah. About Anushka, yeah. since you talked about her, started the whole thing. With her. Anushka and I knew each other from... We know. Yeah, 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 since we were kids, right? So I was always Anushka's boyfriend. No, I wasn't, sorry. I was always Kevin and Anushka was always Kevin's girlfriend. Oh, really? Then Anushka did split Sula and she became... Anushka. Anushka. So I was really proud, honestly, like yeah. because she wasn't from Pune. And she wasn't from, uh, like she wasn't hanging out with the right people. She was always with bunch of they know what I'm talking about if they're watching this they know what I'm talking about okay but um yeah so that happened and I'm and then she made her own name and she outgrew me because I was kind of famous in Pune before doing roadies and all I was just like a hothead kid that people knew I had a lot of friends I was very so social. you were basically fighting with people that's like people knew because you because of yes. Anushka yeah because of Anushka? The entire Pune knows. Like, they they know the story way before I came on roadies and all. Like, our shit was... Real. Yeah. <laughs> so, you <laughs> are that guy. Yeah. So, you are the possessive boyfriend. Yeah, I mean, if I'm not, then I'm a loser. Because I feel like if you're not possessive about your girl, then you don't care enough. Wow. So, if your girl is going out with a bunch of boys, do you think... Bunch of boys? She's not my girl. If she's going out with a bunch of boys that I know are... Yeah, so it's... No, it's it's a thing. It's it's true. Like, I wouldn't want to be with someone that... Okay, this is going to sound very wrong. And like, oh, don't you have to go out with, like, a lot of girls and shit. But, um... Fuck. I think I fucked up big time, huh? <laughs> So, what I'm trying to say is, if she's going out with a bunch of dudes and they're all her friends... Yeah. If I know them, yeah. I'm okay. Like, if I know that they're friends and they're, they don't have wrong intentions, then I'm cool with it. Mm -hmm. But if I feel like, okay, like one or two of them are trying to hit on her and she's still going out with them without me, then she's not my girl. Like, I wouldn't, like, not that, oh, she's not my girl, she's not my girl. No, I wouldn't be with her. But you know how boys are. They also party. Yeah, we like to party, we go out. But then, see, the thing is, I can go out with um, 10 girls, but then they're never going to be the ones that are just going to like throw themselves at me. Even if they do, I'm still going to like stay away. Yeah. If I'm with someone, if I'm dating someone, I wouldn't, I wouldn't even put myself in that situation to like, oh shit, now I'm here partying with them, now how to deal with this. Fuck it, I'll just say it. So I'm dating, I'm in a relationship and this hasn't come out. For a what you dating? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I am. Are you dating <laughs> now? Oh. <laughs> I am in a long distance relationship. Yeah. And we've been doing it for a while now. Like not gonna work. Let's go. Yeah. So um, it's been what like almost. I met her in US. She's not an influencer. She's not a celebrity. She's not even Indian. She's from US. Has a very normal life. Basic met me at my basic life like where i am a fighter but i'm not a celebrity or you know somebody I'm for just her like you a are regular just kidding. guy yeah because we met at an event and you know shit happened and um ever since i've been with her and i've i don't go out anymore yeah. like i don't go parties it's been Why like, do you I, think I, is did, that? I i have gone out a few times but i don't go like full crazy why because like, you just come in like it. See, See I'll be is, honest. This when is I a go good out, question. Yeah, like, when I go you know, out, when I go out as like who I am, I, like some boys relate to me, so they can probably feel the same way. When I go out, I like to go have fun. Yeah. Let's say flirt with girls, have people, yeah. have my friends around me. You know, fuck around. You know, have fun, have a good night. Yeah. So if I'm dating someone, yeah, then I would want to have fun with them. 
And if they're not here, then I'm not going to have fun if I go out. Because what am I going to do? Just listen to music, party, dance, drink. I've been doing that all my life. I can Who listen knew to music. Kevin had this side? See, I knew I'm going to take this side out. <laughs> Kevin is saying this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I've always been this way. I haven't hit anything. I don't think I've shown a different side on any of my shows that I felt attached to a girl. You know, I've always... I'm on so one, about one girl kind of guy. Like, you know, I've yeah. always been... If I like someone, then I'm with her. And if I'm with her, then I'm all for her. But yeah. if I'm not with anyone, yeah. then Jesus. Jesus, sorry. sorry. Save the girls. Save the girls. <laughs> Get your girls home by 8 o'clock, boys. Mystery girl. Yeah, she's there. She's there. Mm -hmm. Planning to get married or whatever. No, no, no. Like, I mean... Taking it slow. Yeah. I don't like rushing. Every time people have but tried what to was rush... One, what was that thing that attracted you about her? I don't know how else to say this without telling the whole story. Like, you know, when you talk about her, it's like... Oh, oh Kevin is in no, love, sweetie. Uh, how, what attracted me towards her was... Love at first sight, though. That she didn't know me. Yeah. So I've had this problem ever since I've done all these shows so wherever I go it's just like either they know me or then they get to know me and then it's a whole different vibe yeah. but I can tell that it's for other reasons yeah. not just for who I am yeah but with this girl it was so different because like I went with my team we're in fight event MMA event we're watching fights mm -hmm. and there's a girl sitting with a guy sitting with a guy yeah and looking at me and I'm like oh poor guy man like I felt sorry for the guy then um then i would never approach if she's with someone i don't want to wreck anyone's home yeah i am a very peaceful guy yeah so i was in my distance and she walked up to me in yeah. front of the guy yeah and she's like you have two seconds to take to get off because i was on the phone you have two seconds to get off the phone and take down my number if you want it so i was very hard like i'm like oh shit. i didn't even say bye i'm like phone all yours yeah that i was very attracted to because she had the guts she to knew what she wanted and yeah she yeah, yeah. It. yeah and we went out we hung out so she and i didn't tell her who i am or what i do nothing she knows about me i just till now it simple no no now she knows, now she knows. It, i i kind of dragged it for a while though yeah. like for a good few days to find out who, what she really wants from me you never connected on instagram so because you're Later instagram we did. yeah yeah, After later, yeah, yeah. seven days later. A few days later. How many days and months or year is it? No, 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 no. year to have, I just met her in US. Oh, mm. the, the vacation you took. Yeah. Yeah. Two months? Two months. Two months of long distance, okay. Like, it's hard, literally. <laughs> <laughs> but, um... It's hard it is, and it's hot. Very, it's very difficult, yeah. Like, I never thought I could do long distance with... Anyone, like my own girlfriend for a while, let alone start a relationship and then see that long distance. Mm -hmm. That is the most difficult part. But then it wasn't like I had to do it because I'm in a relationship. Because we are not in a relationship. Like I'm still not really... Like we're together. She's coming. She's leaving all... A lot of men have this theory that they will date a woman um, who's not famous. Hmm. And you also kind of fell in that the category. Famous people, no? Yeah. Like basically, yeah. Because normal people to don't care only. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> like famous to hai. Oh, better famous. Followers will jayega. But nay. Um, I don't care, honestly. Like if they're famous, if they're not famous, if they're rich, they're not rich. It has nothing to do with me as long as they're coming from a good background. But you family. just said that she didn't know me. Yeah. So that really that was, impressed you. You said well, what turned me, like what attracted so, yeah, me. That's yeah, that's what yeah, I said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. If people don't know me, it's actually good. That's good. So when people say, oh, I don't know you, I'm sorry, don't say sorry. You're good. <laughs> <laughs> You're good. So what, like, do you fall in that category? Do you believe in that, like, dating normal people, people who are not in the spotlight? I am, no, right now. Yeah. How is it different? Like, why, what are the pros with that? At least, you know, she wants you for you. Yeah. You know, and not since you've dated everything very, that comes with it. Yeah, you've dated all famous women. Anushka wasn't famous when I dated her. Arushi wasn't famous when we did the show. We were both on the same thing, and I didn't date Arushi. Yeah, that's what we I was saying. Just, yeah, 
friends. Um, but in general, like the girls, I get attracted to. That's what I'm saying. So um, what about Sondus? You were associated with Sondus also. Sondus, I wasn't associated with like that. Never. Not like that. Okay. Yeah, like we liked each other a little, but no, not not relationship wise. No. No. no she's always been a good friend. Nikki's been my best friend. Nikki is amazing. Shout out to my girl. Yeah. Nikki she's really good. Is legit one of my best friends. Sapna is one of them. Moose is one of them. I have three girls that I'll love. Yeah, for Baby the sisters. rest of my life. Yeah, all three are. And three of them, their question is so funny, no? Like you put three of them in the same room, you'll get crazy content, first off. And yeah. they'll all three vibe to each other. Yeah. But then the second you remove them from that room now and they're alone, they hate each other. I'm like, what the fuck? You were laughing with her, handling her drunk ass. And now you guys, oh, I hate Sapna, oh, I hate Nikki, oh, I hate Mo. Like, fuck. Chill. So guys, I love all three of you, but please be friends so we can... <laughs> we can Why do you think is that? Why do you think is that case? Because, um, so, if I say they are alike, they're not going to like it. But all three of them I kind of like. They're very similar to each other. They're very um, all about, not not all about themselves, but like they love themselves and yeah. they want all the attention yeah. for themselves. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. if you show a little attention to someone else, then they get annoyed. Yeah. It's that vibe. But so basically yeah. all three of them have the same, you know, quality, so they clash. Kind of, yeah. And they're all alpha kind of. Yeah. Loud, like. So who three you mentioned? Nikki? Nikki, Sapna and Moose. And Moose. Yeah. Sapna, you are close. How did Sapna and you become close? I voted her out on roadies. And... Because she tried to vote me out. Okay. But then that actually like made us... You know how they say like fights start great friendship? Yeah. That's how Sapna and I started. Legit. Okay. And Moose also. Because Moose and I... I removed Moose as well. In roadies? Oh my god, boy. <laughs> And still these women like you. There's something about you. No, because they know that my intent... I have reasons. Okay, first, Sapna was the one that tried to vote me out. Yeah. So I got her out because she got she was trying to get me out. Yeah. So it was like a game. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Same shit with Moose. Moose in front of the camera. Mm. Yeah, yeah, fuck you, this, that. Mm. You, you're wrong. You're the bad guy. You're the villain. Behind the camera. You know I love you, right? <laughs> I'm like, bro. <laughs> Keep the love same it. energy. So yeah, so that scared me. So I, I even told Musa, I'm like, I, I just, I am scared of people I don't understand. So if I can't understand you, then I'm scared of you. Because I don't know what you're capable of. I don't know what you can do. Mm -hmm. So I would put myself first in that yeah. situation. How did now you... I won't. Now I'll put them first. In now whatever you... situation. Okay. So I suppose if I ask you to choose. Who's Between your... any of them? Yeah. Which, number one only. Second and third. I actually know. say this all the time. Whoever makes me choose now. Nah. Huh. I'll choose the other ones. Because I have the same love for all three. I can't say, oh, I love this person. It's like, they're family. They're part of my family. I can't say I love my dad more than I love my mom. Or I love yeah. my mom more than I love my dad. They're family. Yeah. We're not friends anymore. So, so all, three all... The, all three girls yeah, same are your love. special yeah, yeah, yeah. ones. Yeah. Okay, now we're coming back to roadies. You started with roadies. Mm -hmm. And Ranvijay was there. Now Ranvijay is not hosting anymore. And have you been keeping up with reality? Yeah, yeah. No. No? I, I thought you were asking, have I been keeping up with Ranjay? No. I've been yeah. asking you that, have you been keeping up? Uh, with reality shows, actually, no, no Ranvijay. Yes. But now Ranvijay is not there. Do you think it makes a difference in reality TV? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. He huh. runs the show. Run, runs the, the show. Yeah, it's the names on it. Mm -hmm. Like, without Ranvijay, you cannot run the show. Cannot. That's why they have to keep changing the host. But I feel like Sonu Sood played a way better game this season yeah. than he did in our season because in our season he was very new and he was getting paid for work so he saw it as work. Mm -hmm. You know, this game, this time I saw like he was getting involved. He knew, okay, he has to like speak up about the footage because this is not acting. This is like whoever talks will get the footage. Okay. So it's kind of like that. Like, Did you watch the season of Rodis? Not entirely, but I watched on and off here and there. Did you catch up with Gautam Gulati's and... Prince of course, that, that was the only... Highlight. Yeah. But that's not good, nah. Like, I feel like the leaders should be leaders and contestants should be contestants. The leaders are there to judge, to guide the contestants, contestants. you know? But um, not like, oh, I, I have won this, I have also won this, I did it better than you, I did it. It's like two kids fighting. I'm sorry, 
I'm sure they're going to feel bad after I say this, but then I said it. I say what I feel. Okay. So I feel like it was a little extra. Mm -hmm. As an audience um, point of view, you felt that. Yeah, but it was, it was an ego clash. It was. Clash of the egos and the lady in the middle that didn't do any silently took the win. But you, do you think Ranvijay will ever pull up such stunt? On? Who? Any other co-host of his? No, hell no. Why? Because he's Ranvijay. There's a difference. For you sure, I mean, they, would, the they would agree. Yeah. Um, I'm not his favorite, but I am still like, he's my favorite. I told him I've never looked up to anyone in my life, but him I've always looked up to because I've related to him a lot. And um, even before I was, uh, every time I get in trouble or some shit happens, some offer comes in my way, he's the first person I call because he's my Guruji. Him and Nikhil. I mean, Nikhil obviously more because I'm way closer to Nikhil than I am to Run. But, um, yeah. So now coming back to roadies, like how was the roadies journey like? To, first of all, my question Beautiful. is the tasks mm -hmm. you guys have. You know, mm -hmm. so I have to ask you, like I've done a lot of uh, podcasts with people who have done roadies, but you know the game the best, according to they me. They don't know. <laughs> They're just trying to be. No, they, I mean, see, I don't know the game. Mm -hmm. I, like everyone thinks, oh, I have written the script. Like yeah. it's my script. I wrote all the tasks. I did the trials before doing the tasks. Mm. I don't know nothing. I'm just. Ever since I was a kid, I loved competition. So I would always get into different sports. I was like a state level skater. I played nationals for basketball. Represented my school all over India for martial arts. So I was always into different sports. So mm -hmm. I was good in adapting yeah. to different sports because they're all kind of like when you. Pick up martial arts, no, then you'll learn how to use your body yeah. and your mind at the same time. Then you can do anything. So now coming back to roadies, like what do you think about the show? Like roadies is scripted or like how is it made? Like Scripted, no, but the production will always save who they want to save. Yeah. No matter what. Why do you think that is so? Because it's a show. You're watching a show. People are... Making like, money if it's, out of if, it. If, 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 yeah, and if the winner is so obvious, then it won't be interesting. So they have to, that's the production's job. If it's just one side, then it's mm -hmm. going to be boring. Like how Munawar did Big Boss this season, everyone knew Munawar was going to win. Mm. Because it was one side. It was like, how will, or MC Stan, for example. Mm. Like Shiv played a really good game, but MC Stan got that hip-hop um, community, got a lot of audience to like back him up and save him in the game so the production has to do something to make it interesting like abhishek they brought elvish mm -hmm. like child you think you're a youtuber there's many followers elvish come mm -hmm. so there's always hand over hand mm -hmm. there's always someone better than somebody else do you think somebody's better than you in the game let's talk about roadies we have seen a lot of people coming we have i think according to me i know only three four people who've done roadies Going back to the time, like, Raghu Rajiv made me know that Rodis is a show that happens. And I'm pretty close to Raghu, so I know whatever he tells me. Uh, you did a podcast? Yeah, 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 yeah. He's mm -hmm. my friend. So, the fact is that Raghu to told me one thing, that creatives nowadays don't make the show don't about... Don't give their heart and souls to yeah, it. I saw that video. Yeah, yeah. Um, do you think that is, that is... Do you agree with that? I was never a fan. Mm -hmm. I'll be honest. I never watched reality shows. I didn't even watch Anushka season when she did her show. Mm -hmm. I just heard. I didn't know Basir. Mm -hmm. The first time I saw Basir was with Anushka when mm -hmm. she brought him to like kind of like piss me off kind of. Um, I had no idea what this is like the whole. So I, I can't say oh yeah Pele it used to be a lot better because Raghu and Ajib used to give their hearts and soul into it. Mm -hmm. I feel like people have grown and they've they've come to an understanding that like life is not the same of how it used to be 10 years ago. Like yeah. you won't get, you wouldn't get cancelled 10 years ago for mm -hmm. the shit you do, for the shit you say. Like what? How can she slap? How can she slap? It's true. How can she slap? Exactly. Like, yeah, but now people are thinking about it in a way where it's like... Um, Violence. Yeah. But back then... It they was cool. Yeah, like it Prince was not cool. slapped it was, someone. Yeah. Prince slapped someone and he won the show. I defended myself and I got kicked out of the show. So fuck you, Splitsvilla, for whatever. I'm just saying. But like, 
that's that's what I mean. Like we have grown in a, uh, in this planet in this world in a way where we have to keep up with the trend. We have to keep up with what is going on right now. Mm-hmm. Like right now, um, it's not okay to like a few years ago it was okay to be gay, but now they're going the other way around where it's like not okay to. Um, change your sex what are you transgenders yeah, yeah they're going against them right like, like Trump and I'll all give you an all example this for this like few years back people used to tell us men can't cry right hmm. now hmm. if you go on Instagram YouTube now they're normalizing it men can cry but, that's because but of hey are we did you watch Big Boss no I did not this year the amount of times these men cried but now here we sitting in between like should we hold back or should we cry should we hold back or should we cry hmm. so do you think like the should trends. you hold back or you should cry? No, or I just feel like, feel, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. I think but sometimes you should hold back. You should not always be crying, crying, but till the time you can hold back. Depends on what's making you cry. Yeah, it, it's good to vent it out, but according to me, if you can hold it back, show the strength yeah, till the is. moment you can, that's pretty much good. You got it, me? Yeah. Kevin did not accept this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> did not accept. Okay. No, no, I don't think you should. You did back. not. Oh. I think you should be real. Okay. To whatever you are, like if you feel you're being fucked over, cry about it, man. Like it's fine. It's fine to cry according to you. Have you cried? What was when of was the last I've time cried. you cried? Last time I cried. Did not Good cry. Good question. No, I've, of course I've cried. I've cried on shows all the time. Okay. <laughs> um. The last time I cried was when my dog died. Oh, which That's, was? I was just thinking. Which was? My first dog. This was um, right before I went to US. I was in Bali when I got the call, and I was just like I had my tickets booked, everything. I knew she's old. I knew she's very sick. I just tried to get there in time, but then she passed away. So that made me like. Oh, Hard. Uh, fuck it. Yeah. So that was the last like time right you now. cried. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Kevin, you haven't won any show. Nope. Do you feel like winning a show is important or <laughs> make... Do you feel like winning now? Is it time? <laughs> do you think? <laughs> but do you feel like winners have more impact or... Winning is important. Winners? If I say winning is not important, then I'm lying because I've tried to win every single time. Yeah. Like every single show I've done, other than the first one, honestly, I didn't try to win that one because I knew I wasn't going to win it. Like my main game wasn't winning the show. Mm-hmm. It was just like, what am I doing here? I what think Splitsvilla you wanted to win. Splitsvilla though, I was like, I will win. Yeah, I know. I didn't want to win. I, it was like different. It was mm-hmm. like a vision. I'm like, I seen it. I'm winning. Mm-hmm. No beating me. Mm-hmm. No losing tasks. Mm-hmm. Didn't really work. I didn't lose, but. But did you regret it? it not winning any time? Does it come to you when you're sitting at home in the night? See, once I... again, I cannot say I regret that. I have regrets. Made mistakes that I regret, but I cannot regret that because everything happens for a reason. Um, and I think that I didn't deserve to win mm-hmm. because uh, I wasn't. Hmm. You said you didn't deserve to no. win. No, not the first one, definitely. Like roadies, I didn't deserve to Let's win. Let's come to splits. Splits, I didn't deserve to win because if I could have controlled myself. At that moment. Like I did say it was a reaction. It was a reaction. Like when I hit Shivam. But I could have controlled myself at that moment. I just had so much hate and anger in my head. That I wanted to. I didn't want to hurt him. But I just wanted to show him. That whatever you do is you talk. And whatever I do is this. Like this is who I am. So not. I'm not just. So, uh, yeah, I could have controlled myself. I could have picked him up, throw him in the pool. That's what I'm just said. I'm just like, why didn't you just throw him in the pool? I'm like, I should have. So, yeah, um, if I deserved to win, I would have won. Because at the end, the deserving winner wins. I love how honest you are with that. It is what it is, yeah. I'm an honest guy like it is. I'm always like this. Coming to splits, you made a connection with Kat. Mm-hmm. And we see a lot of, not we see now, we saw a lot of drama on social media and all of yeah. that. You guys came live. It was on YouTube. It was everywhere. And you guys both were in pain. We could see that. It was not only one person hurting or you hurting. Yeah. Both of you all were hurting. 
So by the way, I'm not allowed from mani- from uh, Kat's team. Mm. They have told me that I'm not allowed mm. to talk about her, but I will talk about her. Mm-hmm. Just wanted to say we that I'm not allowed see, to talk about her. We're not coming from a bad place. I will talk about her in every way. However, I feel right now because last time I made a mistake because Gary and I did a podcast, mm. and Gary spoke about Kat. He mm. brought it up and asked the question. Same. They like the thirty, forty-five minutes. I think that's how long the video was. Forty-five minutes, one hour. Mm. One hour later, I get a call mm. from Cat's team manager. Mm. That was also my ex-manager. Mm. Uh, she tells me that why are you talking about her? Why are you bringing it up? Mm. Why why are you bringing up what's already done and dusted and all of that? I'm like, okay. First off, see, you asked right mm. now. Before that, Gary asked. So mm. people want to know. Because the story is not out, mm-hmm. like no one knows what actually happened and what all, and it's my story. Mm-hmm. She's part of it. Her fault, her problem, whatever she can deal with, however she wants. My story, my life. I will say whatever. Let's go. I will give you all the content now. Just want to give heads up. <laughs> okay. So I was going with you guys. Both came live. Hmm. And I don't want to hurt any. See, look, I feel like when two people are involved in a relationship or whatever it was with you guys going on, I don't care about. Like, see, look, I look at the girl's side also. I'm not coming from bad place. I just want to know why did you guys decide to do that live and make it all such a facade? Like, you could have just spoken on the phone and be like, you know what? Let's get over with it. Let's yes, and we could have not done a show. We could have not been on Splitsvilla. We could have not. Done any of that, but then what's the point? Like people are seeing us on TV, um, lovey dovey, flirty, idol couple, this that they're so cute together, blah blah blah, and then I can't just fake it. Like I I couldn't. Okay. She said, "Let's keep it." No, I'm not gonna say she said. We both thought that we should keep it on the low. We broke up. Mm-hmm. We broke up before the life. That life wasn't a breakup. That life was a fight. Because of the breakup, mm-hmm. it was just like we didn't fight to break up. We just ended things in like a way where I'm in US, she's in Goa. I had trust issues because I saw different photos and stuff I saw, which I didn't think was right for me. Mm-hmm. So I um I told her that I need I need some time to myself. I'm with my family right now, and she kept. She really wanted it to work at that moment, and I was scared because of how fast everything was going. Like everything was just happening super fast. Because I really, really had strong feelings for her, and I feel like she did too. Even though she denies the fact that she even dated me, like she's like I don't see it as a relationship. But at that moment, it definitely felt like a relationship to any guy. Any, any amateur. Yeah. Um. So I felt that everything is hap- just happening so fast, and she got in talk with my mom, and I don't know. I got scared, and I bounced. And um, you bounced. Yeah, I went to US because of different reasons. Red flags that I saw. Let's say her story, something else. She can go. You can call her, and I really want to know her story. Key what it is, because even I don't know honestly. But my story. Is I went on that show as a single guy. Mm-hmm. I wasn't dating anyone. I was. Um, I'm not gonna say. Oh, she came. People do that. People come as a relationship, like as while they're with someone else. They come on the show just for the clout and for the followers. They they think of it as work. For me, this is not work. This is not work. TV is not work. None of that shit is work. Work is work. Business. That is work for me. But then I see this as fun entertainment, like. She look, mom made it on TV, <laughs> like you know that kind of yeah. Um, so that's how I saw it. I didn't see it as work ever, and that's why she had a problem with it because this is work for her, okay. which I respect. Yeah, like you know she's come from the bottom and she's fucking killing it, and mm-hmm. she's come through this. this yeah, direction. I believe that. Yeah, mm-hmm. so she's high respect. Mm-hmm. But it wasn't work for me, so she didn't respect the fact that this is not work for me. Okay. So it was very like I, I the was compatibility. like, you get your stuff yeah. done, yeah, wherever you went, I, there was always cameras, mm-hmm. always. Like mm-hmm. I couldn't have, I'm like the split is over, bro. Like the show's over. I just want to chill with you. I'm everything with is you. documented. I want, yeah, and everything. Yeah. And I kind of felt weird, 
for me, but it was work for her. Mm -hmm. So, which I understood. It's just that I saw a lot of stuff that I didn't see on the show mm -hmm. when I got out of the show. And that kind of like pushed me away. Slowly, not, not like... With all due respect, Kevin, um, what was that one thing, one red flag you saw in her? She was dating someone when she came on the show, which is fine. I talked about it before also. Um, she was seeing someone from London and she told me that she's gonna... And they've been together for two years or something. And how... Uh, after the show, I was like, what now? Mm -hmm. So in the middle, she told me. At the beginning, she didn't tell me. In the middle, she told me that she, she has someone outside. Mm -hmm. What now? Mm -hmm. And I didn't take it in a good way. I actually mm -hmm. lost my shit. I wanted to get out of the show. I told the production I want to leave. I'm like, I didn't sign up for this. I signed up for... Like, she told you all of that in the middle of the show? Yeah. And the production didn't let me out. Obviously. And they didn't let me bring it out. They said, why do you want to bring it out? Which... Because they, no, they, they didn't, they didn't, it's not that they didn't let me. I could have brought it out, but they told me that... Think about it, like she's already done with that person or whatever, and that's why she told you. Mm. She wants something new. Mm -hmm. So why don't you just give it a try? So I let it go. Mm. I was like, okay, Chalo, she's in. But then it just didn't add up. Like, how can you be with someone for two years and mm. randomly meet someone on the show and just be like... Two years katam, I'll call him after the show's over. Okay, I'm with you now. So basically that was... That was a big red flag for anyone. Yeah. Like, not just me. But I still... I was still fine with it. I was like, I don't care. Like, um, it is what it is. I will accept this. And after we get out of the show, we'll see if we like each other, if we want to take this forward or not. And which we did. But then I got scared. And I left and that fight happened. And why, you asked why on the live, because people deserved to... Know the truth. Yeah. Because the truth was in the show. The truth was happening after the show. Mm. And everyone thinks, oh, like, we missed them together and this and that. Honestly, she was the one that called me disloyal. But I didn't date anyone till now. I didn't date anyone because I've always been that one girl kind of guy. And she said, I am partying on... My cousin has a yacht, and he threw a birthday party for me. There was a bunch of girls he invited, all that stuff. I get it. She had her stuff, too. Saw a few photos, and was like, couldn't trust me, which was the same for me, too. Like, I couldn't trust her the same way. But still, the way she reacted was so much different than how I reacted. Like, full-on attack mode. Like, I just asked her, what are you doing in war? Who are you with? Oh, I'm with someone that is showing me around to find a house. I'm like, you need someone to show you around to find a house. Red flag. Just a lot of them. A lot. Like I saw left and right. Now, I am so happy. Like, that day I said it to Sapna, everyone blamed me. Everyone was like, bro, this is your fault. Like, we love you, but this is your fault. You shouldn't have done this. She actually loves you. She cares about you. I am happy. I don't want to talk shit about her, but she's living her life. Yeah. Dated whoever. Broke up with whoever, dated whoever, <laughs> broke up with whoever. God knows what's going on in our life. But mm -hmm. I know everything because of the people we have around. I don't yeah. know, once you know, like I don't ask. They just come and tell, oh, you know, this has happened with Kat and someone that she knows. So now you are in peace with all of that past. I moved on when I was in Bali, not this time, but the one before that when I went to Nikki. Because when I went to Bali, she was still in my head. Really? Uh, yeah. Like, it It took me a long time to get over her, for sure. For Kat, longest. Longest. Like, whew. Yeah, but I'm glad it's over. Kind of. What is it, one good thing and one bad thing about her? One good thing is she always looks after... Her people. Yeah. That's what you are also all about. We were very much alike, honestly. Yeah, like, Kat I and I were, were very much alike. What is one bad thing about her? Hmm. I don't want to say it. Hmm. Respectfully. Denied. Yeah, nah. But yeah, but that's good thing. Like she, you know, that's one thing you both have in similar. What know, do you have in similar? In context. Like oh, similar like context. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Care of so, but you have mutuals with her, right? Not really. No? No. So you're not friends Our with... Our people picked sides. <laughs> oh! She made them. I never asked anybody. But Nikki was her best friend. Nikki was my best friend. In From splits. From day one. 
she was my best friend mm-hmm. Nikki Sambudi all the girls didn't like her from day one they yeah. came up to me and they I was like who do we not like mm. because I knew Nikki from before <laughs> so then I went on the show I'm like girls are there boys are here and they all hang out I'm like who do we not like everyone took cat's name yeah and I'm sure Nikki as soon as they all Nikki took cat's, cat's name, name yeah yeah everyone oh took cat's God. name they're like oh she's come with like full attitude saying I'm going to win I'm going to do this I'm going to do that She's the one we don't like. So I was like, you don't like her, why? Because hmm. she's come and she's With cocky. With a winning spirit. Yeah. yeah. They're like, yeah. I'm like, found her. <laughs> <laughs> that's my ideal match. Nobody likes, but... That, that's, yeah, that's my yeah, ideal yeah. match. So, so we, Nikki also picked side, basically. Afterwards, because Kat made everyone pick sides. I never asked anyone. I'm like, oh, if you're friends with her. Yeah, I'm but that's your theory of life. We see uh, you with people who have major mad conflicts. Yeah, with each other. Yeah. And I'm like, bye. Yeah. But you're friends with everybody. Yeah, and I tried to make them cuz if I'm friends with them, like for example, Basira Nikki. Hmm. I'm not going to that's their story to tell. Yeah, yeah. But um since I'm friends with both, I want them to be friends with each other, but then they have just so much past and all that. It's so difficult, but my mission will be to get them together do you know friends, what friends, i friends. exactly i actually said that in the morning so um like i said that's their story but i would love them to be friends because i feel like they'll be great friends but not a good pair yeah i, I agree yeah in the morning too, only i said this they're very loud yeah and they always fight so there's no point i just miss them as friends cuz i was around when they were friends <laughs> good times yeah now you have to be like okay i'll come to you then and we'll come to you then it's so hard for you no now i'm making them hard for them because i'll be like cuz so i'm staying with basir right mm-hmm. now mm-hmm. and nikki's in the same building yeah so that is so cute na i am like you guys want to meet i me. want to be you in have this. to meet each other this is it That's how life is. But this is my message. Like I I have mad respect for Basir. I feel like Basir is one of the guy who I genuinely feel like has come from nowhere and he has that spirit in him, yeah. you know, wherever he, he goes and whenever he goes. And even if he sits on And he's so motivated. He is. Like living with him, I've Honestly, I knew him like before living with him right now. Just just that we continue the whole roadie journey now from Bombay. So you became friends after Rodi's wala no, thing. No, no, we were friends before that. Okay. Um but we weren't that close. Mm-hmm. Like we were mainly friends because uh, yeah. Nobody knows this. We'll cut it out. Okay, we'll cut this out. I don't want to put yeah, this. Yeah, 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 please. Yeah. Okay. So how did I know Basir? <laughs> you are so mad. You so Basir um Basir actually hit me up right before I did splits because mm-hmm. Salman Zaidi was doing it. Mm-hmm. and he had beef with Salman so he was like he's going to support me and he liked how I was talking shit about Salman so you know oh so you were talking shit about Salman your, Zaidi your enemies friend no way you keep know. your enemies close no no no, no. your enemies enemies your friend okay yes that's Ma- right. Ajah, yeah, mutual so love he called me yeah he called me he was like bro fuck him up do this and that yeah, well, he guided me gave me a few tips hmm. so after that we became friends kind of like we were in touch not friends we were in touch then <clears throat> i invited him for uh, the the event that we did all of us days and confused gang oh. everybody was there so he came for the first one and that's when that was the first time i met him so pehle i met him when he came with anushka but we didn't meet mm-hmm. but then i met him and we vibed it was it was cool but then he was busy with his own thing i was busy with my own thing so we didn't really like connect connect yeah until we did rodies yeah then at the beginning i thought basir is a whole like he's just very like alpha dominant like i am the boss i am this i am that it was very hard for me to be around that because mm-hmm. nobody i don't have anyone in my life i've never had anyone in my life tell me what to do mm-hmm. you don't tell me what to do yeah but um so that i felt like i it, it wasn't friendly mm-hmm. so that vibe wasn't friendly to me so that pissed me off that turned me into that alpha kevin and uh, we beefed but Don't then we saw yeah then i saw his emotional side when i took out his friends then i'm like in the same deals 
Emotional? What? Vaseer? You know, I think he pretends to have a mask on to no, protect no, 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 him. No, 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 no. He doesn't pretend. He doesn't pretend to have a mask on. He has two sides. Oh. One is alpha side and one is emotional side. So emotional when, side you'll see when you're really close yeah. to him. Alpha you'll see when you're not at all close to him. So that is what I've learned about Basir. And after that, like there was a session where he was all alone. Like all his friends were out of the game. Mm-hmm. And I had a lot of people with me. Mm. Everyone was like, and our our team and shit. That day was the game changer. When I went to him, because I, I felt bad. I felt bad because I had to remove Gaurav. I liked Gaurav. Mm-hmm. I really liked Gaurav as a person. Gaurav Alouk. Yeah. Mm. But he was with uh, Basir. Mm-hmm. So I had to because they're the same team. Mm. I had to remove um, Moose. Mm. Moose was really like my favorite new roadie. So I was like... She was just full ball of energy, you know. So that also I hated. And then I went to him, I'm like, listen, bro, like, because of you, I'm doing all this shit. Why? Am I, why? <laughs> like, stop. <laughs> Chill. <laughs> Tora, let's talk. And then, it, this was off camera. Okay. Like, even the production was shook that Kevin and Basir are sitting together, together eating having, yeah. lunch. Yeah, it was like a, during that lunch session. So it with your haters him, and... Yeah, I spoke to him and I'm like... Um, why do you think everyone has the same complaint about you? Mm. That you're very alpha, you try to tell people what to do, this, that, mm. that. But he's like, this is who I am. And then I've learned to accept him for who he is and learn how to deal with him. And then we became very close. After that, we became quite close. Till date. We fight on and off because of Nikki. Like, there was a few times that we fought. Because not Yeah, I had guy, to ask you this. Like, sometimes so you know, when you friends with both of them, mm. like sometimes though, you know, people get conflicted. Like mm. Basir would have said or Nikki would have said, it's a human nature. Mm. You know, if you are my friend, I'll be jealous. Like, why are you still talking to my ex? Mm. You know, whatever. No, they wouldn't say that to me because they know, both of them know what role they play in my life. Mm. You know, that I, both, I met both of them differently. Okay. I didn't meet her because of him, I didn't meet him because of her. Mm, yeah. So I have my question with people very differently of how ever they want to handle it. Like I'm friends with Shivam, Jay, mm. um, Nikhil. Mm. I'm friends with everyone. Mm. Ashish. Mm. But then I don't keep bad blood with anyone. Okay. I feel like it's a show. Whatever happens on a show should end on a show. If you take it ahead in life, then that just means that person is living in your head. Rent free for the rest of your life. So if I'm, if I, if someone feels that way about me, I don't know. I'm sure some people feel that way about me, but I'm just living in their head rent free without even knowing. At least I have a place to stay. Yeah, that's so cool to say. Yeah, in Kev. their head. Now, like, getting back to how you said that, like, the bad blood in the show ends mm-hmm. there. Mm-hmm. For me, like, when I walk out of the show, I don't care what happened in the show. That's mm-hmm. what you just said. Mm-hmm. So now coming back, like you threw out Gary in splits. Mm-hmm. You were sitting there like a king mm-hmm. and you were like... King to nay, bro. I was broken. Today only it came on Snapchat. I swear. And that uh, thing. Yeah. That so now like there was, he felt bad about it. He felt betrayed. Of course. Yeah. And then, you know, now you guys are friends. We mm-hmm. see you as a friend. Mm-hmm. So how did that happen? Like I apologized. Okay. Because I was wrong. I told them so many times, I'm sorry that I did that. But you just have to know that I didn't have an option. Like, if we go back to that day, hmm. it'd still be a very hard decision for me. But I would still have to make the same mistake. Okay. Because it wasn't a mistake at that time. Because, like I said, today only it came. So I, I was seeing, did I have a choice? Like, was there, there was no option. Mm. It was Trevon, Gary, Sapna and Rov, mm. and these two ka girls. Mm. Mm. I don't remember who they were with at yeah. that time. But uh, Sapna and Rov were together. Gary was with ja- no Avantika. Oh fuck! Cat took Avantika. Oh, yeah, yeah. So Avantika and uh, Arushi was with Trevon. So Arushi and Trevon didn't have any connection. Mm. So I could have taken them out. Mm. But then. Yeah, I, I would have, if I go back to the same day, I would take Trevon out with Arushi. But you're friends with Trevon also. Yeah. Trevon wouldn't be as hurt as Gary was. Why? Different people, different mindset, different goals. 
different so, so you think views Trevon... to different stuff. Yeah, I, th- I feel like Trevon would have been more mature. Yeah. Like, he would have seen it as a, it's a show and yeah. all of this. Gary really, like, Fell back. took it. Yeah, like, he took it to heart and he had this hate for a long yeah. time. So that's when, last time we met, I was like, I know you still hate me, but I just, you come to Pune. I will show you around, we will hang out, but I have to, like, end this beef. So when he came, that was my main goal, like, to make him feel like I'm actually sorry mm. for whatever I did, because I shouldn't have. Because mm. um, everyone said, oh, he went against the team, but he didn't go against me. Mm. And I was the one with the power. Mm-hmm. So I should have... But... Make the right choice. Did it ever happen to you that you kicked him out because you felt like he was strong competition? No. I like competition. I, I'm a fighter. A lot of people said that Kevin eliminated Gary because he found him as a competition. No. Gary lost. I'm just saying Gary lost at least two, three tasks before. Like he never won or else he would be safe. Nah, yaar. Like if he was... Comp- I don't want to talk shit about the guy. He's mm. a very strong competition. But on splits, Villa, where it's a couple game, he wasn't really performing that much. And it wasn't the comp. Why would I take a competition? No? No. You're not that guy? No, no. Okay, now coming back to he went to roadies. And I so want to say this on my screen, my channel, that, you know, like he posted a reel where you were there, the highlight. You kicking him out and he entering Rodi's. Oh my God, he made it look like a Shah Rukh Khan movie. Yes, the king has entered the building. So, um, did you feel offended about that? No. See, look, at the end of the day, it's a shame. No, I, I got the message. You got it, she right? The whole world me. got it. He sent it to me first. Okay. Okay. Before uploading it and stuff. He, sent he just it to sent me. you the video, right? Yeah, the main reel. Yeah. No, no, no. He, he told me, he's like, bro, I'm posting this. Mm. Like, I hope you don't have any problems with it and this and that. I'm like, brother, it's your journey. And that's your journey. You have to say it. If you don't say it, you're stupid. So I'm glad he said it because that is his journey. Like, I kicked him out and he mm. came out and did what. Which I don't understand. How is it relatable? Like, how is me kicking him out of Splitzvilla and him getting selected? It's not like I'm selecting him for roadies or I got I didn't get selected on roadies. Thank like, God. what is he trying to say? Someone said it. Yeah. Someone actually said it. Because when I saw that reel that came on my Explore, I was like, but what's the context? I don't understand nee, the but context. But they say, he meant ki, you have taken me out. I have still won. Like, I am reborn. Mm-hmm. Rebirth. That's your theory. I guess. What else? I don't know. That can be... Ten people, ten different stories. I guess, yeah. But um, I'm glad he used it. Hmm. I am happy for him. I wish I could use all my clips like that. I swear to God. I would have had <laughs> 10 million followers right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Kevin. Now, like, you've done roadies, you've done splits, you've done roadies again. You've done three reality shows. What is that one thing you've learned doing all these reality shows? Hmm. Never lie. Never lie. Liars forget. And if you lie, you will forget. 100%. And when you forget, someone like me is going to be there to expose you. She And be like, hey boy, you said this? What happened? So never what lie. Now? But that's how I'm good at it. That's why I'm good at reality shows. There's a few rules that I follow. One is don't backstab anyone. Two is don't lie to anyone. Three is, but that's not just for reality shows. Yeah, this I was about life. to say that. Yeah. In general. Third is, um, don't hit anyone. That is not for life. That is only for reality shows. <laughs> <laughs> I just should not hit anyone. Ever. Okay. One thing that you see in a reality show in a negative way. Hmm. It's a stepping stone for a lot of people. But also, it can fuck with a lot of people's life. Because when you do reality shows, hmm. usually reality stars that we have are normal people that are in some college and doing some shit. They meet someone and then this person goes to Vicom and then they go like, oh, I know this guy from this college. He has some attitude and it's good. Like, let's get him. Who's that guy in real life? Like with such a like in real reality, in real world, who's that guy? Probably someone very cool. Very um, fun to hang out with. Because we all have to go through these auditions. All very dumb. Hmm. To, so that they can make fun of them on TV. Hmm. 
they look for personalities and these personalities are usually created by people's life like if they go through some things they go through in life and they become this person like mm. for example me i was bullied in school so i became an mma fighter and that's how i'm in reality star mm. so it's all like part of your life that takes you there yeah so you have to go through some shit to get there to yeah. become a reality star or you have to be very connected mm. but i don't think if people if like why come would never go like oh so i know this guy is this guy's cousin so let's take him yeah that never happens at least not with rodies or splitsula it probably happens on big boss but rodies and splitsula is always about personalities hmm. like no matter who you are to them if you don't have a personality they're not going to put you in if you have a personality they're going to fucking highlight you so what is that one thing so when <clears throat> What was your question? Um, that was where I was like, what is he doing? <laughs> like, what was your question? I'll my question there. was like, one thing, and when you did a reality show, you did not like, like, all that. No, no, what, what don't I like about reality shows? Yeah. What is one thing I don't like? So, yeah. So, these people get somewhere. Hmm. They get to be put on TV. Hmm. They get to be put in front of so many people to see who they are. And people relate to them. They oh, show so much love to them. I know where you're going. And show so much love to them. And... Oh, I, I want to be like you. I want to be like you. I love you. I love you. All these fans show fake love. Yeah. That's what I call it. Then they feel like I am to bop. Bop to bop for that. I am to like the shit now. Like I have made it. I am on TV. I am this. I have done it. And then it's over. New season starts. New people show up. More people get clout. Mm. And then new new season comes up. new people then that person like 10 years ago who did rodis tell fast jaldi jaldi exactly nobody gives a fuck what they did 10 years ago so reality shows is just getting people together getting people this stage giving them this stage if they know how to use it like if they're content creators like for example you or a lot of con- gary a lot of content creators that i know if they use it well then they can make a living off of it but a majority of the people that get these reality shows they get nowhere in life and when they don't get nowhere in life they lose hope they lose touch with the person that they were they were before these shows they stop thinking about the goals they had before getting wow. on the show so and then they just go a whole like fucking ah, famous i am he knows me just took a selfie with me you know who you know who i am janta hai main kaun hai ise you know see how people talk so that i hate because it ruins people's lives So either you should be ready if you're going for yeah, this is for anyone that wants to audition. If you're ready to do a reality show, you better be ready to make content because if you don't make content after a reality show, then you better have a backup plan. Whether it's your family business or it's something that you were following before or any passion that you have that is not going to take you backwards, you know what I'm saying? Mhm. Like you should always move forward. If you do a reality show and you get stuck in one place, then you're moving backwards. You're not moving forward. If you're not moving forward, then you're stuck, right? So I feel like a lot of people get stuck because of these reality shows. Then they just go like, "Oh, next year this this new reality show is coming. I'll do this." There's all oh, new reality show. Temptation Island. Couples can also do now. Nah, I am dating. <laughs> like you know, all these couples come out. Oh, three years of our relationship, so cute. <laughs> like you know, so. I feel like all these reality stars are just stuck and they don't want to accept the fact that they're always dependent on someone else. If they don't call, they'll never get anywhere in life. So if you want to become a reality star, you better have some goals backup. to like yeah. And also backup to like backup, you know, if you go it. like full Gary mode, like how he's doing it or how you're doing it, you don't need backup. You just got to keep consistency. You got to keep doing what you're doing if you really like making content or really like doing this. It's a very good place to start. Like reality shows are the best boosters. But what after that? Can okay, well, I have a question for you? Hmm. You have done Does all like these. Mm-hmm. I love it. I love it so much. Hey, Lou. <laughs> okay. Kev, okay, I really want to ask this question to you. You've done three reality shows. I'm sure people love you. Whenever you go out, people come to you like, "Hey, Kevin, Kevin, Kevin." Mm-hmm. That happens with you. I'm sure it happens with you. So, there are people who do reality shows and. they die for it like i was partying with somebody other day i'm not going to name die for it matlab i'll tell you how mm. so i was uh, partying with somebody um other day and we were in a club right 
and this person goes in like in the dance floor and he's like taking a round there and he was he just did a show a reality show just did it and he's like let's see if people know me know me this and that you know what i'm saying you know where i'm going going with that wait wait what what so he just did a reality show yeah and he's gone to a club yeah we all were partying and wanted to see if people know him. yeah yeah i'm i'm going to a yeah, yeah i know i can't yeah and so um we were in the vip and we are looking at him and like he's like looking for i don't know what do you call it fans is looking for fans yeah he's like looking for recognition this, yeah. <laughs> shut up <laughs> don't fuck me up uh, he's just looking for recognition you know what do you have to say about being relevant and recognition from fan does it affect you if you go out and people don't know you no no mm. for me it's different honestly um suppose let's say you go to lola mm. right mm. and there were a lot of people mm. and i'm sure people would have come to you mm. and nikki as a matter of fact you both mm. went so like if people don't come to you do you will you get hurt if will it affect me, you no. no no why would it affect me though? how's that so how would it affect me like you know you some people run for fame some people so that's the thing no i am just enjoying this honestly i never i was famous like i actually mean fame by not famous as in i was on tv and all but people knew who i was before all this before odies and for pune mein hmm. i heard hawa tha ekdam <laughs> bachpan se so now you don't care i never cared about fame like yeah it never like i i wasn't chasing fame it was more like i wanted to prove I did rodies because I was tired of people commenting Anushka's name on my post. Exactly, that's where. So it wasn't for attention. Yeah. But it was to get rid of her attention. It was to. I was, because people, you're right. People actually start calling me Anushka's boyfriend. Like not not people that in real life, but like comments. Like in real life, everyone knew me in Pune. Mhm. Like where I am, wherever I go, cities I go to. So, that wasn't. like there wasn't I wasn't chasing fame I just wanted to get rid of that title I needed my own name that bothered me yeah. so have you made your own name oh fuck yeah pop <laughs> <laughs> can you say that on my channel please i'm a fan of <laughs> that word said, the uh, way you say it has to be in the zone yeah it's like bab bab hota hai bab bab hota hai ah loves it <laughs> I just feel like even you are the OG, like the way you are. It's I'm crazy. not OG, so I just started. Yeah, only one year I've taken a break. No, I'm a fan. I never say this yes. to people, but I feel like I am your huge fan. Like I feel like the way you are, I feel like every man should be like that. Every man. Yeah. Mm. So that we get more options. Mm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> See guys. So Kevin is Kevin, guys, and Kevin, like you've been in so many controversies. Does the hate affect you? Like. No, no, no. people always say. so this question was asked after i did split the flower rodies only i don't know hmm. one, one of them but i was with my rodies gang hmm. nikhil and all and someone asked nikhil how does the hate and nikhil straight up sent it to me hmm. like pass and i said then also that it's as long as people are watching you they're saying they're watching your show hmm. um they have to give whether it's love they have to give a reaction if you don't get a reaction from them then you're then you have a boring show but mm-hmm. if you have if you're getting hate mm. or love mm. you're doing a good job both of them yeah other way around yeah 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 whatever i let it be hate let it be love kuch to chahiye na like for example let's talk about temptation island yeah okay you watch temptation island i did right name one contestant hmm that was interesting to you Nikki. other than uh, let me yaar other <laughs> than nikki and jad and tain because of nikki no jad i never looked at jad would have been i find him irritating you find jad irritating yes i don't know the guy honestly so i can't really tain is a cute guy i don't know i know tain tain i like tain honestly tain my man <laughs> I, i am not going to talk but <laughs> So I okay, just, you're great. Uh, he knows. 
she knows what I'm saying. But uh, I'm not going to say much. Just that um, don't bite the hand that feeds you, one. And two is you should never owe anyone anything. So if you owe anyone anything, you should always pay back. Well said. And how? That's why you're friends with everybody, bro. Yeah, but no, like seriously, like, I'm not trying to talk shit about Tain. Um, but I agree with that somewhere. I'm just saying in general, like... I love Tain. If it wasn't for Nikki, hmm. Tain would have never been on Temptation Island. Exactly my because point. Because who's Tain? Exactly my point. If it wasn't for Nikki, hmm. Temptation Island wouldn't be Temptation I Island. I just told her in the yeah. afternoon. I just called her and, so you know, after a long she time. she did, she's yeah. getting a lot of hate. She yeah. got a lot of hate. People wrote... God They're slut what. shaming. They're doing a lot of All things. All I'm going to gonna ask is, how would you feel if I, I started go, watching when Nikki was that in that fucking? Yeah, I think bathroom. everyone stopped because the same people that are hating, the yeah. same people that hate, the same people that no, love. No, she's a doll. Every single person that hated on Nikki, you know, I promise you, everyone. That's oh, how could she do this? She doesn't. Blah, blah, blah. They stopped watching the show immediately after she got out. Why? Because yeah. the whole show is what. Who, what were people doing? I just told anything. her in the afternoon. Like, the same all thing. All I heard was Nikki did this, Nikki did that. Exactly. Uh, I came. I was in US, so I couldn't watch. When I came back, I had no idea what I'm coming back to, and I didn't know how big of a hit it was. Apparently, it was a really big hit. Mm. And everyone told me that, yeah, Nikki did this, Nikki did that. What do you have to say? Like, we really want to know what you think about this, since mm. you're her best friend and you've done reality shows. Mm. What do you think about this? I she said, did what she did. She did what she did, but the thing is that. She was, okay, so she said she was dating Tain for how long on three, the show? Three months. Sure. I'm not sure. Yeah, months, but I guess. all I'm saying is... Because Akshay said this in my video. He was dating, she, they were dating for three, three or four months. Hmm. I don't know, man. Like I know, no, that's the problem. I can't even talk right now. <laughs> I just don't want to say shit. But the fact that Tain got a lot of sympathy, I have to say... Even I sympathized game. with him. It was a good game for him. Because I know everything. And it's so fucked up that he did that to Nikki. Like made her f look like that. Mm. Whatever. I'm not even going to say much about this. Because I don't know if Nikki would be okay with it. I don't care about anyone else. But um, don't bite the hand that feeds you, man. Don't hate on people that put you where you are. Because wow. the same people that put you there... Woo, they they got a brother. They have a brother and that brother can pull you down. That I promise. I'm, I'm, I like Tain. I like Tain. I'm saying this to him as well. But if I like anyone Tain. ever yeah, fucks yeah. with she my family, then I, will, I have stopped. That Kevin is gone. Old, old See, Kevin. he got all the sympathy from the people. He got sympathy from me also. It about sympathy from the fans. Like, he, he put on a show. Good. But, um, whatever. But, um, you think he was putting on a show? Do I think? I'm not going to say much. But Dude. all I'm saying is that he tried to make her look like shit. She did start a little too fast, mm. like all that. Mm. But he did definitely try to make her look like shit. Like no matter. So you think did. Nikki is not at all wrong? Nikki was wrong. I'm not going to defend Nikki for whatever she did because I told her that she was wrong. I told her family that like, every, I had to do a lot. Like when she was on the show, I was talking to her parents and it was a difficult time. But do you think she was being real on the show? Mm, yes. Yes? Yeah. Nikki watched Temptation Island before going. So I knew what was going on in I her head. I knew it. She, she saw it. Yeah. So she watched the international version of it mm. thinking... This is going to be the same thing. And this, that this is where she got trapped. This is India. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she was thinking she's going US. No, baby. This is India. Yeah. But then, see, that the thing is, you know, like if the same shit would have happened abroad, then mm. um, same result, but not really that, like, people would have People would have enjoyed it. With no, I hate. just feel like I watch all the shows. Too hard to handle Temptation Island. Yeah, when you watch all of that, do you go and comment For me, it on their was posts? Normal so to how, see. how are you such a slut? How are you, Randy? Yeah, yeah. Bahar ke logo ko nahi likh rahe, na? They're exactly. writing it to Nikki because Nikki 
is an Indian. She's brought up like that. So that I feel very hypocrite of people that you know you love and enjoy the shows which have been telecasted abroad, and they they are pulling up the same stunt when she did it. You found so, it yeah. fishy, and you. Yeah, found but it the, she also started Thora early. ASAP. Mm. But she's that kind of a girl. No, like I said, she's real. She's not trying to like fake she's, anything. If she, she likes someone, she'll go full on, like from day one. She's all love. So yeah. all love to a girl. But any which ways, um, I just want to ask one more question to you, um, Jesus. Kev, that <laughs> you Temptation know. Temptation Island, <laughs> Gary, Splitsville, Rodis, my girlfriend, bye. Itna content to me. you're going to be put at your worst over here mentally like so much pressure you've done it you know how much it takes for you to go through all of that heat and so much energy and bad vibes and oh fuck this today my last day is today her last day what is going to happen this that too much my hair you see this bro i'm White. getting gray hair <laughs> you know, all these reality shows <laughs> that's Kevin. why i stopped i'm like no mas i am done done And I, I love this Kevin, honestly. I think I love all the Kevins. All the Kevins. Yeah. How many Kevins? I, I think the Kevin who started his journey was also fire. The Kevin who's grown up so much, and honestly, like I didn't knew that. Like I felt like a lot chill about it. Like oh, let's go, bitch, let's work it. And he's such a grow. You've, you've, you've literally grown so much. Your I life. I have to, yar. If I don't, then I'm behind, no. Yeah. So I have to keep moving forward. Kevin, before we let you go, um, there's this question I ask everybody. that what is the best advice somebody has given you in life patience have patience pratik bhai have patience pratik. you know pratik yeah sage yeah no no yaar yeah, ari pratik sage bhai who i am talking about pratik management no i don't know that never mind yeah sorry pratik bhai <laughs> <laughs> but uh yeah someone has told me this that uh have patience in whatever it is that you want in life just work for it and have patience and everything happens for a reason everything like oh this is yeah this is my lifelong like motto everything happens for it if anything happens to me you know tomorrow i don't care i don't have any bad feelings about it because i know that if you have bad days you will have good days so everything have happens patience. and what is the one worst advice somebody has given you Worst advice is kill yourself if you're not doing well. That's the worst advice. Really? Anyway. Somebody's told. No, like, but I'm saying in general, like anyone can give me yes. the worst advice. Anyone can give me. Has given you. Has given life. me. Yeah. Somebody life. told you in childhood. How would I remember? Yeah, worst advice. I would I remember? See, I don't think about all these negative thoughts. Only positive. <laughs> like somebody who gave me worst an advice, advice, I think was, you know, like somebody who gave me. Oh you know, well, that's a good question. But I think somebody gave me an advice when I was a kid that, you know, like it will happen. Stay in school or you'll never get anywhere. You'll never go anywhere in life. No, That's it it will happen. For me, it has always been like people said that, you know, you don't have to. You chill about it. So what's it. the worst uh, someone has given you? Chill about it. You know, you don't have to. You work. know, work. Chill. I always felt like somebody will come and save me. You know, I felt like, like that. Yeah. Yeah, you're always waiting for something to happen. Happen. Yeah. I think that that thing really was stuck with me for a long time, and then I came out of it, and I realized that I'm my own mm. person. You know, and I have to save myself. Nobody's coming. Are you gonna put all the whole thing? Yeah. The yeah. The entire thing. Yeah. I think it's two hours. You've been talking. You're gonna put two hours. What is that one advice? Tell us. The worst advice anyone has given me. What what is the one advice you've heard anybody saying to your friends or to anybody? You were sitting in a conversation, you heard this. You're like, oh my god, क्या राय था फैला रहा है ये दिमाग का? Something like that. You remember? Worst advice is I don't know. That's good thing. Don't remember the worst. That's all. <laughs> Any which way, Cap. It was such a pleasure to have you on my channel. Pleasure is all mine, lady. And lady I. Dawn. 
I, I just have mad respect for you and I want you to grow in life and I want you to succeed in life. I really will be sitting in the front row cheering for you. No, I really feel like you deserve the world. Thank you. I really do. And so does my audience. They wanted Everybody to see you since one year and I've finally done it, I think. <laughs> they one think? year, one year, yeah. One year they've been telling me, get Kevin, get Kevin, you get. You got content for three years now. <laughs> I think, I think so. Three years of my life I gave you, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> Any which way, any message, Kevin, before you leave? Love you guys, miss you guys. Uh, I'm sorry I'm not coming on any reality shows or whatever. And, Are uh, you going to come? No? Never say never, but I don't know. I'm just not in the mood to do a reality show right now. Right now I have the... Yes, he's making money. Yeah, the business. Money is honey. On. Money is honey. And uh, with no money, there is no honey. I kind of want honey right now. I'm, I got that sweet tooth. For honey. But Kevin, it was my pleasure to have you on my channel. Pleasure is all mine. And thank you for doing this. Thank you. Um, thank you for taking out your time. Thank I know you, you had a very pretty. We have done all of this for you to just subscribe. So please fucking like this video Aww. and subscribe. So all of this will make no sense. Waste. Yes. <laughs> this all makes sense to us. Okay. Thank you guys. New video dropping every Wednesday, 4:45 p.m. Sorry, 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 sorry. Last, last, last thing. I feel like a lot of people are gonna be hitting you up. Or hitting me up after this video. How could you say this? How could you say that? How could you say that? Thank you for watching. New video dropping every Wednesday, 4.45. Bye.